yes hello guys welcome back to the channel my name is sam sadewali and it's nice to see you once again here so and from, from what you can know it's a new background here not not my old not my room again so you just see okay i want to talk about this a lot here a lot okay yeah new background yeah okay so i went outdoors so i'm actually feeling kind of I like the atmosphere of being outdoor and the light the lighting is actually great and everything just like awesome okay and i like this background so let me know if you like the background as well because i enjoy it so much so first i'm talking about about the choleric and the melancholic interaction okay because usually in life choleric and melancholy actually find themselves together in lots okay and most melancholics have this mentality that choleric are people that are they are just off people too that they don't have Man, they don't have they lack emotions, they are just awful and terrible, and that's not true, okay? So, I'm not going and this at times leads to some eating it and some things that make you even sin, okay? So, I want to, I want to just talk about the, the, the interaction and the relationship between the correct and the melancholy, okay? So, if I one of the two, stay tuned to the video, okay? Firstly, who's a choleric? Choleric are, are people that um that they are actually strong by nature. They have this this they have this this tendency towards being in power, in control of people and of things. Okay, so they have this 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 mind of this this strong mentality in them. Okay, and they are actually very very powerful in terms of the way they speak, the way they act, like strong things and, and very very active. They actually they actually they are actually very active. Okay, and the choleric are people that they have this this this, this, this mind to achieve things. They want to get things. They want to make sure things this is done 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 okay now and if you get from this channel's name and channel's history it's about a this channel is actually about melancholy temperament basically okay from a christian perspective so your, your your males on your males on the other hand are people that are very very they're very very emotional people they are actually very, very they're actually very very considerate they're very very detailed they, they work things carefully and they're actually kind of reserved and gentle and they are very obedient they get things done by god's grace okay that's just your choleric and your melancholic definition okay now talking about temperament now i'm actually just talking about you know about human means natural strengths and weaknesses okay and how and now talking about the specific temperaments now how by those spirit help you can you can grow yourself away from those imperfections and now work in god's strength okay you see god in his wisdom actually puts you actually often put your melancholy and your choleric together a lot of a lot of times. Maybe in in work, in career, in always meet each other, working together. So you can't avoid it. Not as if it's like that, but not as if it's like not as if you always meet a choleric or a melancholic or your weed. No, but no, no, no. But it's like that. There's a chance that you usually meet them, work with them at some point of your life. Okay. So now. Because I myself, I, just, I, did, I did a quick, I did a quick survey of of colleagues and people around me. I saw that mom's choleric and my my in church also. I work with people in different churches and they are, they are both correct so as well. Even right now, I have a correct partner I'm in church also. So we actually work with them a lot. Okay, and all my friends also same issue as well. And we all just learn to live with colleagues and live in peace. I just people want us and God wants us to live in brotherly love and joy as well. Talking about my first choleric experience because I'm actually melancholic by God's grace. It's spirit it's spirit controlled melancholic. When I got to university for the first time, I was in the, I was in school in a chemistry group and there was this lady that we we actually we were actually in the same group, but she wasn't good with us. So people actually sought our approval for anything we do. She talked so loudly talk with power like wow wow what's going on with this sister I'm like wow so but i was like is she okay like why is she acting like this but I'm like no problem then finally i was like ah, is this is she okay or because i was also amazed of how she was so powerful and so domineering i'm like wow this is so so not me and so not what i like and back then, I didn't know about temperament back then. So when I knew about temperament, I was like, oh, so people are actually born that they actually people are, so people are actually born like with that that with that character of being strong and powerful. I'm like, okay, no problem. You see, these people are they are people that, so by God's grace, God made us fearfully and wonderfully. And no matter the temperament, you are wonderful. 
me feel me by God, and that's something you should thank God for, okay? So, your colleagues I feel that are very, very, they are actually usually extroverts. They are very, they are very powerful, they are good leaders, by God's grace. And they, they actually get things done, like with power and authority as well. And they are actually very strong, they don't like weak things, they don't like weak people, they like some things that are strong and active, okay? But your colleagues on, on the other hand, I feel that are, they are very gentle and reserved, they don't talk much and they, they actually work in detail, like they get things done, if you say do this, they do this, they feel like they always tell you yes, yes and yes, they don't, they don't just act rudely or quickly, and they are very very easy to work with, uh, they work, you can work with them easily, I don't have to working with them, they can actually complement each other well, and that's something that is good, as, and that's something that is good, okay? This is where the issue comes to place now. You see, your your main colleagues are actually that they actually they are, they are actually attend because of the way, the way that they work in detail, they work things carefully. That really feel slow to the colleague, and that's something that you feel like that guy is so slow and so so slow, and they like fasting, like sharp sharp, okay. And this can actually lead to issues in in their in their working together. Colleagues are actually that that they are actually very strong. They don't get things done because of they don't get things done quickly. They might, they, might, they might pressure you and they might, they might make you feel. They might, they might not talk to you rudely, and and not all my colleagues will, will appreciate this as well, okay? And most times your males won't speak out. They won't. They'll just say, okay, okay, no problem. But when when it gets unbearable, when it gets to this point, they just blow up and just shout on you and act crazily. No, I, mean, I don't really mean crazily. They just act. You know, act act with so much power and emotion, okay? And so. The need for the USP to, to guide each other, both parties, well, okay. There's this big need for the USP to guide them both, okay. Now, and this is actually one of, I said to my, my first video before, one of, that's one of, the, one of God's best gifts to, 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 win, to, to, to win this generation because of, you know, it teaches us, it guides us, and it does, it gives us this, this, gives us patience, gives us self-control, gives us tolerance, and all these great great fruits okay now talking about the speed now your colleagues i feel that there are times they lack patience at times so your speed will be currently get patient even very very patient than usual than usual they can actually speak words with words that that that, that make you feel happy and they won't just brush you under the carpet or just act act to you rudely okay so one more thing is that you know for example now you know most time your black people that when they are younger, you know, when they are born to this world, still new and fresh, they always say yes, they always obey your commandment. They say do this without, without forcing them or beating them, just to get work done. Okay, so they always they actually need to feel it. When they grow up and they learn to say no more, they feel like these guys getting rude and getting getting spoiled, getting proud. Now that's not always the case, okay? So they just learn to say no more and say and actually act more mature, okay? You need to understand that people grow and people, 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 want to, people not always obey and think the way you think and at least agree to everything that comes their way, okay? What's the point of this video now? So this is just the video's main point or main takeaway as well. And that Firstly, as a choleric, you know that things are to others a lot, okay? If you do something like just listen to you, don't always say what was what's the big deal, what's the main thing. They're just telling, oh, thank you, well done. This word actually helps people a lot. Example, your males take approval a lot. They love people approving them. People saying, oh, well done, okay? Although they, they, won't, they might not show it a lot, but they'll still thank and appreciate what you are doing for them. Okay? So, so that's a tip for working with males as well. You need to appreciate them because they take appreciation a lot. They, they like, they love it. It's one of their core needs as well, okay? And also, your words are very, very important, okay? Friends actually feel that they're actually raw people, okay? Just say things the way it comes. They won't, they won't, they won't water down their words. They want, to, they want their words to be strong and be powerful. So they want to just speak out their mind, and which might not be clean at times and not be, be well perceived by others. So, and Bible says in the book of Colossians 4, verse 5 to verse 6 that conduct yourself wisely towards outsiders, making the most of the time. Let your speech be always be gracious, seasoned with salt. So that, so that you may know how you ought to answer everyone. Can you see? 
you need to season your your speech your your speaking with grace and with so you can answer anybody drives not, not just wrong way okay that because as believers you need to show you need to show christ in everything we do our speech conduct love everything that's first Timothy for our job okay then also know that people have emotions okay they expect people's emotions people's feelings people's time okay? if you always like give me time don't be like wow don't just rough them with don't just treat them anyhow okay try and be more considerate okay try and show care and have emotion okay people are people react to things differently okay? i'm not not everybody as strong as you are okay people are actually less stronger or say less strong not just say weak they're actually not less stronger than you are okay now for your males out there do something don't just rush into things okay make decisions carefully by this bit of okay no matter who is talking to you, no matter how powerful person seems, how big or how high, okay, just don't just walk by fear or by pressure, okay. Try and let those people to guide you and carefully take decisions, okay. Because I myself have fallen victim to these things all the time. When it's something that is very, very intimidating, I just yes, give me and say, oh yeah, yes, yes, and that might be a longer time, okay. So please let those people lead you in making decisions as well, okay. Then let's check Bible's view on this. God's view, that was what Moses was also a male as well, because Moses was a a simple example of a male he was fearful and he was so he was, he was a great great man okay now that book of Deuteronomy 1 verse 17 it says and it does not ma- and it doesn't matter if one is helpless and the other is powerful don't be afraid of anyone no matter who shows up in your court god will help you make a fair decision if any case is too hard for you bring the, bring the people to me and i will make the decision okay so many things too too, maybe too hard, too fearful. You know, God's always there to always help you, okay? You know, you know, you know God can always help you and He's always there for you, okay? So, also, finally, don't hate choleric. They are not your enemy, okay? Because as Christians, you don't have to hate anyone, okay? Even though you may not act the way you want, you may act harsh at times, okay? Just pray for them, listen with them, okay? Try and dialogue with them, you just you know, just have this even it's okay please i i urge you know that you actually they actually have this this tendency to be strong and powerful okay just flow with them okay and let god and let god help you now okay finally i would say don't always take everything to straight like now so it's clear that some clerics out there are not are not always maybe maybe so so down to it that they'll be like everything say please 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 most, most of them will say please and say thank you okay so don't just feel like this guy is this guy is so rude and this okay try and let god help you okay try and be try and overlook some of these things okay so that was the video i hope you've been blessed so if you're in or let me know your thoughts on this video as well so forget to like to share subscribe leave a comment and god bless you bye